So I was halfway through my chemical engineering degree when I realized, what is it I'm that I'm going to do with my career once I leave here? And then I realized, well, there's biomedical engineering. I had cancer as a child. So it's always been important for me to help those people bring drugs to the bedside. I met Tim Cook at uh, the Cyto conference. He had mentioned that they had just purchased the BD Fax Symphony S6 cell sorter. We had a conversation about potentially starting here, and I've been doing that ever since. When I first began flow cytometry, we had a system with just two lasers that measured four parameters. However, there became a bottleneck five or six years ago. We really needed to go beyond the limited number of dimensions we could examine. So specifically with the, the BD Fax Symphony S6 cell sorter, we're looking at six-way sorting. We're also looking at detecting up to 29 parameters. Hey, hey Matt. Hey, Eric. Thanks for yeah. stopping by, yeah. yeah let's, of let's go inside. Yeah, sure. If we use those two fluorochromes together, we need to be very deliberate in the choices that we make based on the biology and our populations of interest. So what's amazing about flow is we can very quickly identify different subsets of cells within a population, a heterogeneous population, look at them, and then start to address scientific questions that have to do with the makeup of that heterogeneous population. You could examine cells up to 25,000 cells every second, then separate out those differences from one population to another. We can get that information as quickly as a day. Knowing that the instrument's not gonna clog and that you're gonna get a truly pure sort, for us, that's a huge piece to know that we can trust the data that's being pulled from this instrument. So our role is to work hand in hand with uh, customers, the sales force, and uh, the service team members to support everyone, especially the customer, through all phases of their journey with BD and BD products. Whenever we've had a problem with our machines, we have someone there, sometimes even the same day. They understand the need for the customer and what that means for research. So it's all about helping people as quickly as possible, making drugs to help as many diseases as possible, and flow cytometry allows us to get to that next goal. And BD is, is constantly coming up as the front runner in the technology. The name of the game in flow is uh, the more data that you can get, the better. And that really helps us develop drugs for diseases of tomorrow. Knowing that we have uh, played a role in developing something that can really benefit a larger group of people makes me feel good about what I do here. We don't want to waste two years studying something that we just can't develop a drug for it. So flow cytometry not only allows us to move projects from the exploratory space into a clinical space, but it also helps us make key decisions to perhaps end a project so we can focus our time into something that does make sense and get patients feeling better, not in 20 or 30 years, but as soon as we can.